Dr. Hypnoto. Other than his clothing, what threat does he pose to the world? What he lacks in fashion sense, my young friend, he more than makes up for in intelligence. Hypnoto was a small-time lounge act in Las Vegas. Now he's taken on bigger things. Mind control. Who's the target? That's what you need to find out. And then stop him. And what do I do after lunch? This is no small task, Silverstone. Hypnoto is well guarded. I've arranged a new secret weapon for you to work with. Lay it on me. Oh, wait, let me guess. Uh, demagnetizing toothbrush? Or hover basketball shoes? You got me that cell phone slash motorcycle, did you? Something much more useful. For this assignment, I'm giving you Hawkins. What's a Hawkins? I'm Hawkins. You can call me Hawk. Get off me! Cut! Cut! What was that? You were supposed to be standing there. Standing is so boring. I mean, you got to admit, that was more exciting. You should have seen the look on your face. <laughs> yeah, well, you're going to hear it from the director. He hates it when actors change the script. Riley, that was terrific. What an entrance. Just let me know what you're going to do next time. The cameraman wasn't prepared. Way to be in the moment, Jets. Let's take it again from the top. We're going again. Ooh, he sure gave it to me. Silverstone. The ultimate action hero. Top agent for a secret organization. Saving the world one mission at a time. At least that's who I play on TV. In real life, I'm Jet Jackson. Being a TV star is cool, but being a regular kid is even better. So I had the show moved back to my hometown, Wilstead, North Carolina. Now, I can hang with my friends, which is great. And the best part of all, I get to spend a lot more time with my family. I'm just trying to live my life as a normal kid. But some people still see me as the famous Jet Jackson. Something on your mind, Jet? No. You want to talk about it? I don't know. Maybe I'm just a little paranoid, Kate. But the producers gave me this partner for this week's show. And man. you think the producers don't like you anymore and they brought in somebody to slowly take your place. I wasn't thinking that until now. Okay, gotta go. I think I hear my computer processing. I don't know, Kay. It's, it's just this new co-star. It's like she's been here for one day and she's already trying to take over my show. But she can't. It's your show. How long is she going to be here? One episode. And you've been playing Silverstone for how long? I know. I know. I get it. She's only going to be here for one week and I only have to deal with it when we're on set. Jet! Hey! Can you believe my tutor got sick so they put me in school? I've asked to be in all your classes. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. It's double coupon day. The stores will be picked clean if we don't hurry. I just have to pick up something over at the station. <laughs> Did you hear me? Double coupons wait for no one. I can't help it. Got some things I got to pick up. Now, that's it. Your grandfather's car is still in the garage. I need to learn how to drive. You? <laughs> Don't you think you might be a tad, uh, mature for driving? Mature? Yeah, you know, uh, mature. Woodrick Jackson, I am still breathing. And I still have all of my brains, which is more than I can say about some people okay, I know. Okay, okay, I'll teach you how to drive. How about we start this afternoon? Right after I get my head examined. Here. Wondering what you're doing here. Yoga helps clear my mind from all thought. Thoughts like, uh, what are you doing in my trailer? Well, I was in my trailer trying to memorize this script, but my mind got cluttered, so I thought I'd do some yoga. Only have you seen the size of the guest trailers? Tiny. So since you weren't coming in until later, I figured we are working together. Oh, by the way, your fridge is out of bottled water. Oh. Okay, well, I'll go get you some bottled water while you get your things out of my trailer. Really? That's so sweet. This my name is on the door doing some yoga. Whatever that mess is. Whatever. Talking about some bottled water. Whoa! Hello, Jetto. Just checking the airbag here. Make sure there's no leaks for your big fall later this week. Yeah, man, I'm with that. 
Hey, come man. Riley has taken over my trailer, man. What's up with that? Oh, man. Did you hear? They're replacing you. It's a joke, man. It's just a joke. <laughs> Not funny. Well, anyway, moving on. The air conditioner in her trailer was broken, so I let her in. Didn't think in mind, man. She is great, isn't she? Yeah, great. Yo. Thanks. I love the big high file at the end of the script. You, uh, got a good stunt man to do that? Oh, no way. I'm doing that one on my own. Really? I would do anything to do a fall like that. By the way, nice workout, dummy. I, uh, was thinking of asking the producers to get me one. <laughs> good luck. I had to come out of my own pocket for this one. So, you ever worked out on one of these things before? Not really. You, uh, work out on yours a lot? <laughs> Just a little bit. Step back. Awesome. You mind if I give it a try? Suit yourself. Yeah, this ought to be fun. She's never worked out on one of these before. and be overjoyed to receive their very own plush, Mr. Puddin. <laughs> ah, but the joy will be all mine. You will obey my every command. You will follow my instructions. You will obey my every command. You will follow my instructions. <laughs> you see, if you control the children of the world, then... You control the world! Okay, we go on four. One, two... And then... The children of the globe... Will be all mine. <laughs> Time to disappear! Bring it on. Credits do. It was Jets. Me? No. Great way. idea, Jet. That was incredible. You two work so well together. That was fun. That was not fun. That was a ditch. Well, why did they put it so close to the street? Move over. Lesson's over. You're too stubborn, you're too reckless, and I'm too young to die. Is that it? You're giving up? Lucky for you, I didn't give up on you so easily for your potty training. Hey, Ma. The production office told me I'd find you here. 
I like to sit by myself on the set when things are troubling me, too. <laughs> you always know. How do you know? <laughs> you want to know my secret? You lift one eyebrow up when you're upset. <laughs> it's the same thing you used to do when you were a baby and you wanted to get picked up. So? So, it's my co-star. This actress, Riley. I mean, she is so competitive. She tries to outdo me on everything. Like yesterday, we had this awesome fight scene, and what? she... She was awesome where you were. Well, <laughs> I mean, we, we, we both were, but she can't... Uh, so she was pushing you to be better than you already are. Huh. Yeah, I guess I never thought of it that way. Mm -hmm. Jet, in this business, it's easy to find yourself dancing with the green-eyed monster called Jealousy, and if you don't conquer it, It'll eat you up. Use her talents to make you stronger. How do you always find a way to turn something bad into something good? The mom manual. It's how we get you kids to eat vegetables, too. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes. No. <laughs> Come here. Mm -hmm. Hug. Never seen you look this sharp, Jet. Thanks, Larry. I'm feeling good, man. Really good. Good to hear. Good to hear. I've worked with a lot of big name stars. Really freaked when a strong guest star like Riley gets on set. Man, I can understand that. I mean, the truth is, it was kind of freaking me at first too. But now I like it. It keeps me sharp, you know. You know, and it makes me a lot better, which really makes the show better. Good attitude. We're all a little concerned when we read in the script you're getting a partner. Boy, she's not actually my partner, right? She's just a guest star that's here for a week. That's what they told me. Right, then nothing to freak about. Jet, look what the producers got me. Don't you just love my state-of-the-art trailer and lounge chair? Now, see, at first, I thought I was paranoid. But now, I know. Riley is trying to take over my show. <laughs> and now she's trying to take over my life, too. Excuse me. This is my classroom, and that's my seat you're sitting in. Sorry, they said there was no assigned seating. Well, well, there isn't. But, but I've been sitting there the whole year. Fine. Then I'll just find another seat. You can have mine, Riley. What is up with you, Jackson? Miss Coretta, I know how by the book wood can be. But I'll teach you all you need to know about driving. Jules Jackson. No, I'll call you back. It, it's a hands-free cell. It leaves you free to multitask. But what about the rules for the road? Oh, we'll get to that. Oh, let me show you what my producers got me. You put that cord into the cigarette lighter, and you have yourself a portable fax machine. But honey, I, I want to learn how to drive, not run an office. Uh, can you pull over here for a minute? Oh, sure. You know, driving is fun, but it's so nice out. I think I'll walk today. These are great. I love them, don't you? I better. I painted them. No way. They are so Basquiat. You know Jean-Michel Basquiat? Yeah. I love that whole underground graffiti thing those guys were doing. I mean, Basquiat, Keith Haring, even Rauschenberg. Yeah. Oh, you just don't give it a break, do you? Mm, you're not happy just stealing my, my job or my seat in class. Oh, no, you. You got to steal my friends, too. Can you spell paranoid? I am not being paranoid. Paranoids are crazy people. And you're not acting crazy. No, I'm not acting crazy. Hmm. Uh, uh, we were just rehearsing some lines for the show. Yes. Good work, Riley. Ms. Coretta, jet around? Oh, hi, Cubby. Oh, he's gone to the set. Hey, 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 where are those pearly whites? Come on, you can tell, Cubby Dub Dub. What's the word? The word is hopeless. Mm. All I want is to learn to drive, and mm. nobody wants to teach me how. Oh, hey, hey, no, 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 you're doing that droopy eye thing. 
No, Miss Coretta. Look, you know what that look does to me. Don't. Okay, look, look, look. I I'll teach you, but just don't do the look, all right? I'll, uh, I'll be back tomorrow, okay? I don't have to try. It's just happening naturally. I don't have to try. I don't have to try. It's just happening naturally. Face it. You're washed out. You're jealous. Ugh, what are you doing? Oops. I'm trying to memorize my lines. Child. Me, child? I need to prepare. Okay, how do you get into character, Mr. TV star? I use the Jet Jackson method. It's called being talented. Are you sure it's not called being annoying? I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to take over. I don't have to try. It's just happening naturally. Face it, you're washed up. It takes more than just physical talent to succeed in what we do. You're jealous. Not a chance. Hawk. Man, cut! That's a cut! Beautiful. Beautiful! Print that! You guys sizzle! Ah, you are the master of your own destiny, Miss Coretta. All right, now, for today, we keep both hands on the wheel. But tomorrow, we're gonna practice taking one hand off and hanging it out the window while scoping babes at the lights. Whee! I'm laughing. Oh, good. Now you're taking over my house, too? <laughs> Just give me a minute to clear my things out of your room. Miss Coretta let me in. Um... Can we talk for a minute? As opposed to the not talking to me you've been doing all day. Fine, look, if you don't want to. Hold on. Well? Why don't you like me? You're... not the easiest person in the world to get along with. Well, why? You want me to be honest? Yeah. You're pushy, you're over-competitive, you're egotistical, self-centered. Okay, okay, I changed my mind. Lie. Too late. Sorry. It's all right. I mean, you're not the first person to say those things about me. Just the first person to say them to my face. I know it's hard settling into a new place. Yeah, you think I'd be used to it? I mean, my parents' favorite expression is, hey, let's move. <laughs> it makes it tough. Yeah, why bother? I mean, when I'm just gonna get uprooted again. Rule number one, you don't make friends, you don't get hurt when you leave. Only one problem with that. It leaves you hurting all the time. Do I look like someone who's hurt to you? No. Not at first. Look, Riley, you're a really good actress and a great athlete. But I just realized the whole front all of the pushiness, the competitiveness. It's just a cover-up. And I'm guessing that it leaves you pretty lonely at the end of the day. Yeah, well, you wouldn't want to show anyone that stuff. No, no, no. They might just realize you're human. They might even care about you. And you just might end up with a friend. Right. And then I leave and I get hurt again. Yeah, but you still end up with a friend. I gotta go. I gotta get some sleep. 5 a.m. call. And good luck with that high fall tomorrow. And um, thanks for taking the time. I'll think about what you said. Hey, Cub! Oh, what do you know, my silver bro? <laughs> Nervous about your fall, man? Oh, not a bit, man. I was just talking to the producers about changing a few things in the script, and I wanted to give you a little heads up on it. Looking out for that numero uno position, right? <laughs> you could say that. Check it out. Wow. That's good. Nah. Stars gotta do what a star's gotta do, right? Right.
We're ready to begin our distribution program. Get those dolls out there! Soon the children of the world will all be mine. <laughs> we have to stop them now, Silverstone. How are we gonna get down there? Jump. We stick to to the ground, we'll get hurt. <laughs> I'm not jumping. You are. And cut! Okay, folks, we're gonna go right away. Let's reset for the high fall. Thought you were gonna do this one. Consider it a little going away gift to a friend. Like it or not, you've made a friend here. I guess I can understand why she is the way she is. <laughs> you know, I know what it's like starting up in a new place. Besides, she's only here for one more day, then the show's all mine again. So, you like the switch, huh? Liked it! Loved it! And a little hawk told me it was all your idea. Jet, I am totally impressed with you. And so were the producers. In fact, as we speak, they're signing Riley on to be a series regular. It looks like Silverstone has a partner for a while. <laughs> What a surprise. What are you doing driving? Do you know what the fine is for driving without a license? Well, yes, I do. It's $300. I know that because I just passed my driver's test. Can't believe it. Well, I'm real proud of you. I'll take you for a ride later on. Right now, I am busy scoping out the babes. And coming. Open out the babes. <laughs> 